I can't go to Yukon without having to come to this bridge in the early morning hours where you'll find the caribou and the grizzly bear drinking. Unfortunately, it looks like there is nothing here of any size that really matters today, but it is such a good spot and it's something you always should be checking out. There's, um, there is a chance of actually having grizzlies and the uh, caribou drinking pretty much everywhere around this area. You'll find some ducks and such out here too, but it does seem like the biggest we have right now is level 5 bears. That's actually level 7. That's a 7. It's not too bad. suppose we can take that. There's a 5 running off. But this is a really, really good spot. If you have the 300 or the 338, you're guaranteed to be able to pick up quite a few bears if you uh, go to the drink time, which should be between 3 and 7 a.m., if I'm not mistaken. I think I'm just going to try to get that guy. He is actually pretty well placed for a next shot, but I'm not sure I will go for that. Could go for a front lung shot. Now, we're just going to go for that one right there. And um, yeah, I don't know if you are familiar with it, but uh, some people don't know that there is actually a train coming past on this very railroad at 8 a.m. in the morning. Well, obviously, because a.m. is in the morning, you know, you'll find a train coming from here and just cross throughout Yukon Valley. Do not get hit by it. Um, I'm a quite big guy and I end up losing to it. So, uh, yeah, be warned. And uh, yeah. If you need to get down quick because there is a train coming to yeet you, that's a way to do it. As soon as you start taking any kind of fall damage, if you hit the first aid kid, then uh, yeah, you are gonna survive. But you have to have taken the first point of fall damage before you hit the first aid kid. Look at that. Lower neck shot on a gold bear. <laughs> and another one of my uh, like really, really good hot spots here on the Yukon Valley. Also in the uh, very early morning, Rustline Ridge. If you're looking for bison, definitely one of the best spots you'll find. There is the chance, well, it's I don't see them as often, but um, there is an odd chance that you'll see some caribou drinking in this area as well. But definitely for bison, it has to be one of your go-to places. If you spawn in, as said, they drink early morning, just run towards the water down here and um, you will potentially see bison already here but there is a herd that normally drinks over here and then you have a big herd drinking over here as well and well we even have a caribou so definitely something worth checking out doesn't seem like anything from the other herd is home right now though and apparently we only have the small boys home today but doesn't really hurt too much to just show the amount of uh, beef you're gonna find here basically any of the those right here this one and this one i always have a pretty decent luck but we're gonna go from this one down to this one which is just on the other side of this hill and uh, that is also hot spot for bisons this little lake right here rustline ridge it's a hidden gem if you have not gone down here and checked it out yourself it is so good and you'll find so many animals Actually, have a big weight estimate level four on the back over there. That might be worth checking out. We have the caribou drinking. Got another. Oh, that's big boy. It's actually a pretty big boy, that one. I think that's definitely what we're going to be uh, looking for. But this place right here, it's, uh, it's close to being my favorite on the entire Yukon Valley. At least when it comes to bison and, uh, and the caribou. They are everywhere, <laughs> as you see here. Uh, the lake I just showed you before as well, though, tends to look somewhat like this. Not quite as insane, but it is very unlikely to see it as... Uh, oh. With as, li as little animals as it had right there. And it turned aggressive. Perfect. We did end up getting a long shot, though. So not to worry. That guy is not half as big as this one. Just gonna go down and pick him up. I think we did get a long liver shot on him. Let's just pick this one up before we spot the rest on the other side as well. 204. That's a decent side. It's gold. I mean, they go a lot bigger, but uh, yeah. Right long liver shot. Definitely uh, a thing that will kill them with the 300. 
maybe just take that small level four right there as well. Obviously, we could just wait and have the uh, other bisons return again, but I don't really feel like doing that. I'm uh, very, very picky with the animals that I try to shoot, so... Oh. That's uh, another small estimate. I'm just gonna go with that guy. Even though he is small. Oh, he turned aggressive as well. A good thing about the bison, when um, they turn aggressive, you really don't have to go that far to pick them up. Uh, one thing you can also do with the bison, I've done it in a few videos, is just to get out your 10 gauge, get out any of your, the shotguns actually, load it up with slugs and then just run after them. You'll be able to pretty much catch up with them and then just take them down one by one. I've, I have a video on the channel somewhere, I think you should go and check that out if you have a lot of fun bison hunting. But let's just pick this gold scoring bison up as well not quite as big but um definitely another nice spot for you to come and check out unfortunately i've already spooked them but uh yeah right here really really good lake and spot for drinking caribou once again the drinking time for the caribou is five till nine in the morning and uh we actually have a rare one standing over there uh small level three there too I really don't see a lot of really big animals, but I suppose a rare is going to make up for it as well, but it's it's a really good spot. Um, basically, this entire delta, maybe, Brightwater Flats, has uh, early morning hours, has a really, really good amount of both caribou and bisons. And uh, yeah, the M1 makes quick work of the caribou you could also be using the 30-06 or uh, maybe you're one of the crazy guys who want to use the new 303 sorry console players early 2021 may you rest in <laughs> nah but uh yeah it's definitely something worth checking out uh, the best time to hunt on yukon in my opinion is actually uh between five and nine some people would say the hot hours is going to be uh, between 5 and 7, because between 5 and 7, you're going to have uh, both the caribou and the bison and the brown bear drinking. And a lot of the places, at least in the eastern side of map, you actually, they share the uh, spawn locations with, uh, with the caribou a lot over here. So if you're going to find a lot of caribou, you're probably going to find quite a bit of the, they don't actually share the locations, but they uh, share the uh, drink zones, was what I meant. But we just picked up a female albino caribou right here. Might as well put her in the lodge as well. I've opened up on a pretty uh, pretty new map right here. I didn't really have any zones down here at all, but just look at these six zones right here. All of them seem to be caribou except one or two. Two planes bison ones over here, but up there and over there we had a... Uh, a uh, caribou drinking zone as well but they're just everywhere early morning guys don't be sleeping on this area uh five until 9 30. i really haven't seen any monsters but it's not really the purpose of this either but uh, just kind of showing you where you can at least find them because uh, some people actually struggle with it for whatever reason even lucky to find a uh, pretty a decent looking moosey boy just eating away over there Go for the heart shot or go for the next shot? That's the question. If he doesn't raise his head in three, two, one, okay. Then he's gonna be moved. What? Just do like that. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually seen them move their head like that to the side while they're still grazing. That's interesting. But yeah, the moose uh, does feed in the early hours as well, so you will be finding those out in this open area as well, but then. Uh, it's pretty much what I do when I want to hunt for uh, caribou and bison, at least, is uh, is what I showed you guys so far. If I want to go for wolves, I temp tend to just spawn in at this lake and walk around here, um, cross down around this lake here, and just end up in this area. I'm guaranteed to get attacked by wolves one way or the other if I go up there for the most part. And another bull moose yelling at us from afar, but... Decent scoring gold, straight hard shot. Almost got the touching tips. I really like this rack. Can we get that? He's gonna turn around. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's just gonna go down. I didn't even get the drink zone of that guy, but uh, 
he is now done as well. Didn't really expect to get too much out of this anymore. Now the uh, moose is going to start drinking and you can continue to hunt down this area if you want those. I'm not really in need of that, but uh, yeah, that is uh, pretty much where I spend my mornings on the Yukon Valley.